guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. Today is market day. Woo <laughs> you guys, I'm going to market today. Today is Friday and this is the weekend. I just woke up. I want to go and have my bath now and get ready for market runs. You guys know now. I've shown you guys my market runs several times. So I'm going to be doing one of it again. Like I do it every end of the month except when all this lockdown no lockdown was happening we were just doing it randomly because we had to stock up the house so even last month i didn't stock up the house because we had stocked up you know way more than we needed how are you guys doing how is everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel you are highly 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 welcome my name is adreze i'm a mom of two beautiful daughters Cora and Ava <laughs> and Ava's actually sleeping in my room that's why I came to this room to come and do this intro like she'll wake up in night and come and lie down on my bed and she's still sleeping okay so yeah and, and I'm based in Port Harcourt I need to reintroduce myself I'm sure some people are wondering why I've been off YouTube you guys I'm going to explain later but first let me go and bring out my list and then I would um let me just write down things that I need to buy speaking of, about being off YouTube you guys please don't laugh at my oh, my filming room. <laughs> this is what my filming room looks like now. It has been an abandoned space. So I advertised at some point that I am selling this crib, but many people, many people asked when I told them the price, they do not want to buy. And the price I was giving it out for is actually like one third of the original price. And it's not a crib that I've used for a very long time. But at the same time, I understand because this is a big crib. It's not like the normal crib that many people buy for, you know, their kids. Especially if you don't have like a big baby room. It's actually a big crib. So I will end up giving it out. I actually removed it from my kids' room because I want to redecorate their room. Kind of. So I removed it from there. Yeah, I'll end up giving it out because I have to give it to someone who has the space for it because it's actually a big crib. So yeah, this is my abandoned <laughs> my abandoned filming room. But yeah, like I said, you guys should just ignore what is going on here. I'll be back fully after this video. After this video drops, just know that I'm not going to be off YouTube again. Okay? Um, yeah, so let me show you guys my list. I've shown you guys this list before. Some people have asked me about this list. So yeah, this place is kind of dark, but that's my list, okay? So, basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to consult Amarachi. I'll also go downstairs and check um, the store and then find out what we need to buy and I'm going to tick what I need to buy on this list, okay? And yeah, but let me just go and have my bath because um, I'm already feeling one kind, although I've brushed my teeth. Yeah. All right, guys, so I finished having my bath, but when I have my bath, I don't really wash my face or do anything to my face. I do that one separately. Normally, I do it before dressing up, but I didn't want to come and tie towel on camera, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, um, so people have asked me, what is your skincare routine? Your skin looks good, your skin is popping. See, you guys, first of all, camera tones down a lot of features, so my skin is not as clear as you guys think. See, I have this big pimple here that has refused to go. It looks like it's, it looks like I can pop it, but it's not yet ripe. So I have that pimple. Basically, I don't really have any other um, active breakouts anyway. But I have spots. Um, I have discoloration. This one is not mine. It doesn't really bother me, Sha. I have discoloration. I have spots. So my skin is not fantastic, but I can see why some people say, you know, that I have good skin or they like my skin. Anyway, so let me just show you guys what I use. Basically, my face wash i use cetaphil face wash then i use clear proof toner um it has two percent salicylic acid then i use oil free moisturizer by neutrogena that's what it looks like and then i use the dry touch um 100 plus sunscreen to be honest the sunscreen well it's okay. I don't. Really, I can't really say I like it. I prefer my Eucerin, but I just bought this because yeah, that's what was available. Um, the moisturizer. Um, I, I'm indifferent. But what I really, really love is this. The face wash is okay, but the smell. I don't like my skincare products to have fragrance. I don't understand. Like 
why do you need to put that much fragrance in something I wash away or something that's going to stay permanently on my face? It's not like I'm, I'm using it as perfume. So I don't like it. But I feel like one of my game changers has been this Clear Proof um, Blemish Control Toner. Yeah, I think it actually controls blemish. It doesn't control this one though because this one has been recurring. So maybe it's just hormonal or something. But yeah. I also use this on my face, like in the night sometimes or during the day when I don't want to do all this. I just wash my face and I use aloe vera gel straight. Alright guys, so I'm done with my face now. You can see it's looking white because I added um because this moisturizer actually has SPF 15 in it, so it leaves a white cast, but not for too long. Also, the um, sunscreen also leaves, I mean, obvious white, almost purple cast, which it doesn't stay for too long anyway. And even if it does, I really don't care because it's not like I'm going for a wedding, I'm not doing makeup, it's not, it's not my birthday. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm done. That's, that's basically all I do, morning and night. Night, I just use only the um, moisturizer, even though I, I feel it's like a waste because it has sunscreen, so I should just leave it for the day. But I don't have time to go and buy two moisturizers, eh? Now it's not the time. <laughs> not time for that. So yeah, I'm done and let me just go and have my breakfast and I'll be out of the house, okay? So guys, I'm eating on the dining because I want to write here. Anyway, um, I was telling somebody that I know how to make akara, but I don't like making akara because the process is too long. I'd rather make moe moe than make akara. Moe moe even takes... It's more a longer process, kind of, but why I prefer my money is that at once I can make a very big batch. I know I will eat my money for maybe a few weeks, but Akara every morning I'll start blending beans. I beg, I beg, I beg. Meanwhile, I got a very nice blender. I'm going to be testing it out later for you guys. Um, I got it from Lagos and it just arrived. Um, I'm going to leave a link to. I'm going to leave a contact of the person I bought it from. She sells really, really good brands. Brands that. Ordinarily, you won't see in supermarkets or stores. Um, the one I got is Hamilton Beach. She sent it through God is Good, okay? Then for my skincare products, I got them from Shop with Tika4 on Instagram. Yeah, that's her name. Then her shop, Shop with Tika4. What I like about her is that she does consultations. So you tell her your skin issues and everything. She will recommend products for you. And she does this Q&A session on Instagram, in fact, several times a month, she does Q&A, she answers people's questions. And from listening to her, I know that she knows what she's talking about because I'm into skincare a bit. Like, I like, I like skincare, I like reading up about skincare, but I don't, I don't have the discipline to stick to anyone, okay? So, at least I have a little bit of knowledge about skincare, and from what she says, she gives, like, correct answers. So... Go and patronize her. She's also here. Yeah, she's also here on YouTube. Her name is the name of her YouTube channel is Amaka Tina. Amaka Tina. So you guys should go and check her channel out. She does a lot of and she's specific about dark, not dark skin, African skin. So I like that her own is more tailored towards as an African, especially as an African living in Nigeria. She does for Africans generally, but I mean she also does the, the good thing about it is you see what is what you will see what will work for you as an African living in Nigeria because we know that Africans living abroad, some conditions are a little bit, a little bit different with them, okay? So go and check her out. I'll leave her channel name on the screen and in the description box, you're going to see her Instagram handle and her um, channel link as well. And then also the blender person, but I'll show you guys the blender later on when I unbox it because it just came, so I've not really opened it or anything. Anyway, let me eat my food and get on with my list, okay? Sorry, yeah? Hi, Cora. Okay, we go back to court to that time. Uh, I just, now, nah, any hairstyle I do now, I just try and patch it up. Mm -hmm. Ah, Eva! <laughs> Eva, again. She did not see you. How are you? Look at all the stickers. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Yeah. You're yeah, so much durable. You want to you eat? You want to eat? That's how I tell you I want to poop. <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> so we are finally back. Eh? In fact, I don't know where to start from. Yes, um, we're finally back, and um, I don't know where to start from. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Again. It's almost like it's I'm so weird. Okay, wait, I'm ready now. Mm. Yeah, so we went, we first of all went to the market, but markets were closed. So we now went to next cash and carry. You guys should know next now. 
um, Next then, day, like our Zoom. Yes, our mm-hmm. Zoom. Even though they are not expensive, but we just because we don't have choice. Yeah. Then from there, okay, no, we went to Nimi's before next. Yeah. Then um, now went to buy bole. Now went to the food market. Now went to two other supermarkets after that. Just know that it's been a long day. Very long day, and this car is full to the brim. <laughs> okay, no, I don't have anything. I don't have anything. No. So this is boots that is full, and yeah. then. I'm oh, getting enough, fear. Yeah. <laughs> <As in. laughs> yeah. Are you stop? Yeah, okay. so most of them are your, mm. this your own. Yes? Why are you checking what is there? Just carry it in. Mommy, can we just eat berries, please? But it's not finished carrying the things inside. That I want. Please. Why will I start now to give you berries? We have not even entered the house just because you saw that there are berries there. Mommy, because you're going out. Please. Yeah, Auntie has gone. It's not berries, it's grapes. Oh, I want grapes, please. You have to carry things inside first. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Bakari. Leave, leave, leave it for her, sorry. Leave, leave it. Sorry. Hello guys, good afternoon. So I want to show you guys my blender that I bought. Blender I was telling you guys about. And it came in a box from God is Good. I went to pick it up from their office at GRA. Yeah. And this is the blender. Yeah. yeah, so this is Hamilton Beach commercial blender. This blender is very, very heavyweight. It's actually a very, very good blender. Initially, because the money is not, <laughs> it wasn't cheap at all. So initially, when I wanted to buy it, I was thinking of buying all those blenders that come with different parts, different sizes, different cups, and all that. But I just told myself, I had a food processor. I had a food processor in this house for years, and I was using only one blade, maybe maximum two blades out of all the parts that I came with, so I don't think I'm in the best. I'm not. I don't think I'm the best person to be buying blenders with so many parts because I'll end up not using them. So I wanted a blender that can do everything in just one cup, and I wanted something that had a very big container. And this is um. So this is 1.8 liters. This um this thing this container okay is 1.8 liters, which is really really good for me. So right now, I want to test this first of all with, I want to blend, you can blend dry, wet, semi-dry, whatever I need. So I want to test it and blend a goosey. Let me see how it works, okay? Thank God we have light now because you can use this blender on an inverter. It's two, 2,300 watts, which is like 3 kVA or something. Yeah, I think, it's, is it 3 kVA they call it? 3 volt? I don't know, Shabot. I know it's 2,300 watts, so it's, 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 if you don't use NEPA, you have to use a very good gen for this blender. But I don't mind because I know I, I have another blender here that is just a joke. Let me show you guys. So, say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the blender that I have. It's a Philips blender. Um, this blender is very, very cute. It's one of those blenders that are just fine for nothing. You know what they call? Oh, fine for nothing. That's what that blender is. So. My blender now is not cute, but it does the job, or it will do the job. I've already tested it, so let me just test it out now by blending a goosey. I hope it works, so, hmm. because the amount I bought this blender, <laughs> it better grindstone, it better grindstone to powder. So let's try this a goosey. This is the goosey that my mom sends to me. Let me just try small first before I start putting everything too much. <laughs> I'm scared. Is this on? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, it's not even. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so this is. You guys, this is the lowest speed, though. This is the lowest speed. This thing has different um, speed regulator or whatever. So this is on 5. The highest is 14. And this is just on 5, the lowest one. And it has blended my goosey very well. Okay guys, so I'm done blending my egusi. 
this is the quantity I blended. Um, that one is going to be enough for our soup. Now, the ultimate test of how good this blender is. I'm going to blend tiger nuts. Yes, I want to make um, tiger nuts milk. So, this blender better not disgrace me. One of the reasons why I decided to pay for this blender was because I wanted to uh, be blending tiger nuts myself. So, yeah. I bought it and soaked it yesterday night, so I'm going to blend it now. Let's see how good this is. And I want to see how much quantity I can blend at once in this blender. Because this is quite big actually. I'm going to try blending it dry. Let me see how it will work if I blend it dry. It blended it really well. So this is it dry. Um, I'm going to add water to this now and blend it again. Let's see. This is very smooth, very smooth blending. So, Abu, why are you still in your pajamas? What's the time? Do you know what the time is? Oh my God! I got my tablet. I got to check. Time is what? Is two, two, four, three. Two forty three. Yeah. Yeah. So it's past two in the after, almost three o'clock, and you've not had your bath. Is it not a shame? <laughs> anyway, you guys, today has been a lazy day for me. I was supposed to cook soup. You guys saw me blend my goosey, but I'm tired. Okay. So right now we're eating chicken and chips. <laughs> I bought, and by chicken and chips, I mean frozen chips. I bought frozen <laughs> chips the other day. So that was supposed to be our dinner while we have a and goosey soup for lunch, but we're switching it up, okay? So we're going to be having chicken and chips this afternoon. So I'm trying my tiger nut juice now, or tiger nut milk. It contains coconuts and dates. You like your food? Mm hmm Eva, you like your food? Mm-hmm. Bring water for them to drink. Or oh, you want to drink this? Huh? Eva, do you want to drink this? No, no, no. You like it? You like it? Mm -hmm. But the dad is back now. Drink mm -hmm. Again, <gasps> the French fries, you still eat the French fries. You like it? Mm. I don't know it's I So, guys, for those people who have been asking me where I have been, why I haven't been posting, I've seen all your messages. Thank you guys so much for checking up on me. But the truth is that <laughs> if I tell you guys the reason, people are going to laugh. So for YouTube specifically, my last video when I posted it, after all my suffering to edit, most times for me to push out content as frequently as I do, I have to put in a lot of effort, you know, edit at night, you know, buy data just so that I can do it sharp sharp. Shut up my energy. I posted video, YouTube disabled my comment section. And this is just a normal video, what my family eats in a day. Yes, 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 I know. I changed the title. I changed the thumbnail and they still kept, as in, I'll go change title, to change thumbnail, um, enable comments again. Comments will be enabled for some few, comments will be enabled for some few minutes. And then before I know what's happening again, com my comment section is disabled. I was just tired. After all the back and forth, back and forth, I just said, you know what? It's like me and YouTube are not working. <laughs> We're not really working well, so I need to go off YouTube and just take a break. So that's what I did. It's like, I want YouTube to miss me small, maybe because they are, they are seeing me too much, they're just, they're just doing anyhow. Anyway, Mr. YouTube, Mr. YouTube, Mr. YouTube that has been disabling my comments, 
you have won that battle, but you have not won the war, okay? Because I'm back. Anyway, but yeah, that's, that was actually the reason. But I think it was just like, it was just like a meltdown. Let me just put it like, it was a meltdown, actually. I made me just say, that's it, that's it, I'm off. So I deleted Instagram, Twitter, no, I was on Twitter as much, yeah. But Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, I just said to myself, I need to relax, actually. So yeah, that's it. Nothing special. Alright guys, so that's my hobby's food. I'm going to take it to him right now. So me, I'm going to go and carry my own chicken. I'm going to join him and then we'll just eat. Um, I think the time is already 3 o'clock or something. I have to come back downstairs later on to cook my egusi soup. But for right now, I'm tired. I just want to go and lie down and enjoy myself and watch TV. I have a series that I'm watching. Um, let me go and complete it. So yeah, I think I'm just going to end this video here. I didn't really have much to show you guys, but... This is just a, a weekend in my life, <laughs> although it's not a complete weekend, this is still Saturday, but yeah, just a weekend in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.